guys welcome back to my channel in this video I am going to be breaking down the month of September 2019 it is the month that we are transitioning from chaotic no budget into our zero based budgeting so obviously there is an adjustment period and there has to be planning to be able to make that happen and so if you want to learn more about how we're transitioning and how we are starting off with the Dave Ramsey total money makeover and zero based budgeting go ahead and stay tuned for this video all right so this is for the month of September September 2019. Okay, so I have already done this week because this week was the week of September 7th. We got paid yesterday. I will include a clip at the end of how I did our budgeting, how I did the, um, not the budgeting, how I did our envelopes for this week. So this is the paycheck for September 7th. And what we did this week is for our utilities, we needed to pay Dominion, which is our gas. And that was $56. We paid our mortgage, which was 817 I've got our yard maintenance. We actually pay $60 a month. I took that out, paid that this week. Groceries. Those are 125. Dog food. Our dog actually needed some medicine, so we took out a little bit more this week. And these are not, like, the groceries and the yard maintenance went into their envelopes, but these are not leaving any extra money. So this is starting it, bringing it down to zero. So we had toiletries. We actually ran out of a lot of stuff this week, so it was a little bit more expensive. It was $50.00. So medical, we had an appointment that was $90, and then I put $200 into our savings. And so the total for this, let me zoom in, I'm getting used to doing these budgeting videos guys, it's going to take me a minute. So the total here is $14.43. The cash that I took out, okay, so cash, it was $360. And I am just going to quickly break down what I decided to do. So what we took out what we actually took out of the account. And I did have um, $10 in my wallet when I did this. So what I did is I broke down the denominations. So we had 100, 50, 20, 10, 5, and 1. So I just looked at the bills and what we needed. And so I did 100. I got one 100. I did two 50s. So I just tallied. And future weeks I'll break this down a little bit better. I just want to kind of fill you guys in with where, what I did and why. Got one ten, one five, and five ones. 
our daughter is applying for a job and so some of these denominations that I got was simply so she could work on making change. She's a little bit nervous and she's like, it's gonna be so fast paced. So together this equals $360. So I got out a 50 and a 10 for yard maintenance. So there's my 50 and my 10. For groceries, I did 125, I did 120 and then five ones. For dog food, I did 45, that would be two 20s and a five. For toiletries, I believe I did 50. And then for medical, I, th I did the 20s and then the 10 I had in my wallet. So that is how I came up with that. So what we will be doing from here is my husband did get a bonus this week and we are, we are going to be taking anything that we have remaining this week and we're going to be putting it on our Capital One. And so the goal right now is 150 plus, the goal is 200. The balance is just really high on that card and we're really close to our available balance. And so we did want to bring that down a little bit just in case if there is an emergency or anything happens, like we just, like I know we need to get away from that mindset, but that's where we're at with it. So that was the September 7th. And so let's do the September 13th check. And you guys can see we have $200 in the checking or in the savings into our baby step number one. And so September 13th, we are going to, I'm just going to put full payment. So you guys can see, and then I'm going to be doing envelopes. So you guys can see how we transition. So the bike payment is due. That's 227. Our utilities. We're a little bit higher than we were planning, but we are coming off summer. They're 256. The orthodontist is 50. Sirius FM, for right now, I'm just going to have that in as 48, but again, I think we're going to switch to Spotify, so I'm going to put a question mark because I don't want to spend that. Um, Netflix, it's our plan is $14 a month. We don't have cable. We do have internet, but we use Netflix for entertainment, and it's much more conducive that way. So for the month of September, I'm getting all of our September bills covered so that I can start using the last three paychecks to get ready for October. So we are going to have our yard maintenance. You know what? I'm going to put that over here. We are taking that out early. So that's 60 and that's just going to be so we're ready for the month of September. Our daughter has a dentist appointment. So instead of being able to save for it, we are just going to pull out $56. So we are prepared. Groceries. So you guys are going to see, we don't get all of our envelopes right now. So instead of being able to have everything, we are having to ease into this slowly. So we will have, like you'll notice we didn't have gas in right here we just filled up at the end of the week before um, and we don't have our spending envelopes like we don't have our spending we don't we're not saving for things so groceries we're gonna do 125 so Jay's spending he gets 20 
else spending. There's 20. Gas, we're gonna go a little bit lower and we're only doing 60. Dogs, we have to do 20 because they need food every two weeks and it's $40. So we just have to be prepared. And then savings, I told you guys this is non-negotiable. I should have done savings over here, savings. Kohl's is due, Target, and J. These are just not coming out of our checking. We're leaving them there. All right, so our totals. And then I'm not quite sure with Kohl's, Target, and Berkeley what I'm going to do. We are interest-free on Kohl's, part of Target, and all of J. Berkeley. So I'm trying to work extra this week to get these down as much as possible as we're getting ready to go into our budgeting. So my goal, so we're at $6.95 right here plus the $3.61. That brings us to $1,056. Going back to this week, you guys can see, or this main overview, my goal is $1,224. So this is going to be something I'm just gonna have to come recap you guys on and let you know what we end up doing. My goal, so goals, so goals, I do want to try and pay off that full amount, which is, I really do want to pay off the full amount for Kohl's. That is $252.40. And there will be a little balance on that next month because we needed to get our daughter some clothes to be able to interview in for work. So I think it was like $95 that will be getting charged next month, but I really do not want to pay interest on this. And then that will pay off one of our amounts. For Target, part of it is already in interest, so I think I just want to stick to the minimum, which is 28. And then for J. Barclay, I'm gonna make that goal 100. So that'll be a total of 1437 for this week, which I do think is doable. Here is how you total for the cash envelopes. So if you break down and you do 100, and then you do 50, 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s. Okay, so to break this down, I'll go to yard maintenance. So it's sixty dollars, so that's going to be one fifty and one ten. Fifty six is going to be one fifty, a five and a one. Groceries is one twenty five, so I do a hundred, twenty and a five. Josh's spending is twenty. My spending is twenty. Gas is sixty. I am going to do those in twenty, so twenty, forty, sixty, and then the dogs. So that gives me totals of I will need one 100, I will need two 50s, I will need seven 20s, one 10, two fives, 
and a one. So that is how I know what I need. I will go to the bank on Friday, this Friday on the 13th, and I will literally write it down. So last week, this is what I did. I did it before I filmed the video. But you guys can see I did 360 last week, which is up here. But I literally wrote it on this, this little scrap of paper, and I, I sent it to the teller and just said, you know, can you send this back to me because I knew I was filming a video with it. But um, it's super easy. You can just have that ready to go to let them know what you need. Okay, so that's it for this portion of the video. I just wanted to break down the first couple weeks of how we're going to ease into budgeting and just kind of adjust to what needs to happen as we're getting started in our zero budget based journey. So here's my notebook. It's super cute. I love it. And I'm going to get ready and show you guys the cash envelope stuffing now. Okay, so we're all set with our cash and ready to do the cash envelope stuffing. First, I want to show you guys my envelopes. So I did make each one of these. The first one there is for mortgage. Then you've got college, utilities with the little lights. I think that is so cute. I have my Mazda payment. The Honda envelope, and I have to do a total disclaimer. I was trying to learn how to do calligraphy. There's ortho, radio, Netflix, and yard. And so I was trying to learn how to do calligraphy and make it cute and shaded and dimensional, and it's kind of a hot mess. So the nice thing about these envelopes is they're laminated. So you can take rubbing alcohol and literally rub the Sharpie marker right off and then they're, you're good to go. So the only cash I'm pulling out from my, my um, fixed expenses is yard. Then we have groceries, here's my spending envelope, that's my husband's, clothes, our dog envelope, gas, dentist, medical, date night, family time, toiletries, gifts, and savings, which I don't even know why I did savings. That was supposed to be snowball. So there were all of the envelopes that I have to this point, and I actually have decided to break things down a little bit differently since then. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through and only pull out the envelopes that we're stuffing this week, which is very, very few. It's our very first week budgeting, and so we really don't have too much money to pull out or put into anything because we've used all of our money to this point to pay bills. And so this is just kind of hopping in, deciding that we're going for it, and just going from there. Okay, so to get started, we are going to pull the money for groceries. Actually, I pulled 100 aside because I had a, an appointment that I knew was going to be $90. So we're going to put a 50 and a 10 in yard. That's our yard maintenance fund. And then I am going to put 125 into groceries. And I know this is super corny. Like literally we had two envelopes and 100 bucks, but that is where we started. And the reason I film this and I'm sharing is because I want you to know and understand that it's okay if you have to start really small and you feel like you're really not going to accomplish anything. It's starting that is going to start to make a difference in your life. By not, when you start, or by not starting, by not taking action, you're not going to get anywhere. So just, I really just wanted to share what it looks like as you're starting a zero-based budget. So as you're just starting out and what does that look like? How do you save the money and where do you get started? So this was our journey and this is how we get started. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye guys.